Hey, YouTubers, friends, family, strangers. It's Kat. I should probably have a section called Blanket Talk with Kat because I love just laying down on the couch and <laughs> doing prayer time and with a cozy blankie. <laughs> uh, midlife and calling a blanket a blankie. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to go into prophetic prayer. I'm not sure what tonight will bring. It is September 12th, 2023. We'll see where God leads. Lord God, Jesus, Heavenly Father, I thank you for every single person, Lord, who is listening, every individual, every soul, every spirit. I pray for the health, the balance, the life, the peace, the loveliness of every single one listening, Lord God Almighty. Holy Spirit of the living Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that you will lead and guide this prayer time, that I will get father from you your knowledge your wisdom and the counsel of the holy spirit through the love of jesus christ through his blood sacrifice god and what you would in, like to impart to present and future listeners god getting about peace and knowing and no noise. Hush, good, a gush, good, and freedom awaits to all that listen. So, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for the freedom that awaits us to all that listen. I pray for the breakage of bondage right now and any curses for anyone listening be lifted off and cast off them in the name and the body and the blood of Jesus Christ, bound and put and cast under the blood of Jesus and into the pits of hell. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. Financial freedom. Yes, Lord, I pray financial freedom for myself and for those listening that you would remove all debts, Lord God Jesus, and give financial resources and abilities to pay off bills and to be super abundant where we have overflow to bless other people, God. Turn people's financial situations around to anyone in crisis, God. Show them the way out, God. Show them through your wisdom how they can get all the checks and balances in place. And I'm getting for somebody not to be worried about the tax man. So, Lord, please let people be able to pay all their bills as well as taxes that need to be paid. Lord God, Jesus, if someone is having to be audited or concerned about the IRS, Lord God, Jesus, coming after them. Financial shield, God. Yes, a shield. I'm seeing like a dripping. Oh, no blood money, God. Um, Yeah, it was like dark droplets of blood. We pray for the gift that does not have any blood upon it. Um, but again, the gift of financial blessings through hard work and good ways, Lord. Your ways and your purposes. Lord, we rebuke any evil associated with money and curses that can come from money. We rebuke that in the name of the body and the blood of Jesus Christ. And we turn it around, we flip it over, and we pray instead, release from heaven the blessings that come from a financial prosperity of not having to owe and being able to give. Instead of being on the beckoning call with like a mouth open, like just so thirsty to receive, which can lead people, Lord, to do things maybe they wouldn't otherwise do just to be able to make ends meet and get provisions and food and pay off debts, God. I just rebuke hardships, God, hardships. It's different, Lord, when you want to, like, guide us and grow us, and sometimes you prune us, but any hardships that are not of you, God, Lord God, Jesus, remove and lift off people. I pray for freedom right now in the name of the body and blood of Jesus Christ, the bondage to be removed Oh, the trapment. I see hands and they're wound in fabric of, you know, just cloth and garb. Like it's it's just this cloth wrapped around removing bondage. No more financial bondage in the name of the Father and Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. 
Hushkin, and Lord, you have an abundant overflow. You are the life giver. You are the healer. You are the provider. You are the nurturer. Oh, you're the kindness to our soul, God. Breathe. Birth life of wellness, wholeness, completeness in you and to us, Lord God Almighty, giving and making way for every provision. Yeah, this is about financial freedom tonight, freedom from worry and stress, rebuking any curse upon it in the name of the body and blood of Jesus Christ, letting go of harm. If anybody's considering doing a crime like a robbery, I rebuke that thought in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray that you will find a positive way that God will lead you in his direction. Remember that um, there's not a trap door with God. They're not in a situation to be trapped. God always provides a way out. So I pray you see the way out. Don't do it. Do not do it. Move away from that trap door. It's not the way. It's not the way. Lord, it's interesting. Like our one life choice can lead us down so many other wrong turns, Lord. It's not too late. Don't do it to this person that I'm seeing. Um, yeah. No robbery in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Jesus. Name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I see you on your knees, and I see you just like in despair and saying, how am I to provide? You know, and if you, you know it's hard, can let go of self-reliance and have faith in a godly reliance and provision. And I sense you might not have even people to turn to and ask. I don't know if it's due to ego, pride, and shame. Um, but getting locked away, hmm. you know, think about how your family and how people would view you then if you're concerned about that from just even asking don't go down that road. Um, I'm getting emergency shelter. You can seek emergency shelter. Um, I break the enemy who comes to torment minds and give false words and false messages in the name and the body and the blood of Jesus Christ. I pray that people learn and hear your inner voice, your love, your wisdom, God, Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, your goodness that you have planned for them and leading them on the purpose and direction and the course that you want for their life. Even though there are trials and times are hard, you are always with us. You know, there are seasons of bountifulness and seasons of, of non-bountifulness, um, but you are with us through every hardship, God. And some, like I said, you know, earlier, like God will prune us, but others are not meant to be hardships that we're meant to endure. They're of the enemy. So reverse those hardships and turn mourning, God, and sadness and despair and desert situations, isolation situations around God. I rebuke a spirit of loneliness in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit that people feel. I rebuke a spirit of despair that people feel. I rebuke empty pockets in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit that we will be so bountiful and so well provided for that, you know, it's like bills coming out of pockets, not bills of debt, but bills of income to be able to pay our off everything that we need to, as well as for food and shelter and to give and provide to other reasons and causes, um, to give to animal foundations, human causes, anywhere you lead, God, mission fields, churches, just even a stranger on a, 
on the street and handed them a ten dollar bill or a twenty. Like just that the the financial gifts will be an overflow for people listening and who are in agreement and who would like that, God. Pray for financial management for myself and for other people. I rebuke a spirit of greed in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And if you'd like to raise your hand, you can. I'm going to lift mine up. And if you want to pray in agreement, you might want to hear whew, the prayer first and then like rewind it. If you do agree to then pray the words, I know before I pray in agreement, I want to know what's being said and I'll listen and then I'll redo or I'll listen first, then repeat. Just because our words are important, we don't want to agree to anything out loud, right, that we really don't agree with. So, um, you know, have wisdom in what you're agreeing to. So, Lord God, Jesus, I lift up everyone listening right now. Whoosh, get a gush, get a gush. Anyone who's in agreement of a financial blessing to come their way. To remove a financial downfall, to remove a financial pit. We come together and saying no more, no more penniless pockets. No more lack of wisdom of how to manage our finances. We pray an increase of wealth distribution with the heavenly knowledge that comes oosh i can feel you holy spirit i hope people listening can feel it so awesome oosh more 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 heavenly provision lord god oosh gotta go a financial breakthrough financial release financial prosperity to do goodness for the people listening and so many have it multiply for so many breaking off every curse in the name of the father and son and holy spirit that can come with money exercising true judgment of how to spend being able to pay off every debt and having the money the finances you give us be able to grow and multiply so we as human beings can act in love and help other people and organizations and causes with it, God. Ushkada your church, Ushkada your mission fields, Ushkada gada 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 ma. Lots of nonprofits and individual souls, Ushkada kushkada kushkada gada. Even corporations funds, God, that, that need it for financial boost, Lord, for positive startups. Wisdom, wisdom to be exercised. Oh, this is such a powerful prayer. Financial freedom is coming to people tonight. I feel it in the name of blood of Jesus Christ. And I pray it for me, Lord. You know, God knows I have my bills and uh, I would love financial wisdom and blessing to overflow for me too, to help others and to be in a place of myself, to be a provider, God, instead of always trying to catch up. On bills and things. Your way. May we not limit you, God. May we break the chains of limitations that we put on you off. You are an abundant giver. You are a graceful, loving father that outpoureth for his children. Financial freedom for every soul listening tonight, Lord, who wants to receive this prayer. Testimonies. Oh, I hope that um, people have financial testimonies after listening to this and receiving and finding even unexpected gifts in the mail I'm getting for people. Uh, I have some unopened mail. I should go open. <laughs> Anyways, besides getting bills in the mail, getting some um, settlements and unexpected gifts, um, 
I'd love comments, like just of people who have the breakthrough for this prayer, for people that also felt the Holy Spirit through this prayer. Lord God, Jesus, anyone who does not yet have a relationship with you and wants to know you, I pray right now that you would invite everyone listening who wants to Jesus Christ into your heart and say, Jesus, please show me the ways and purposes of my life that you have planned for me, Lord. Thank you for being the living sacrifice for our sins so we can have relationship restored with the Father and the counsel that comes with the Holy Spirit. Jesus, help me grow in you, your way, your power, your purposes for my life. And let your love soar, soar, accepting the freedom that comes from all forgiveness. I pray that people place any sins they have and give it to the Lord and saying, Lord, please, I repent of my sins. Show me the error in my ways so I can repent, turn away from them, and walk uprightly, receiving the forgiveness you have for those who truly go in forgiveness and wanting to receive for anyone who has addiction, I pray for your financial freedom and addictions to be released, especially if it's someone addicted to spending with money or misusing money, where it's like going down the toilet or I see it actually going down the sink, going down the drain. Um, we rebuke any misgivings with money, God. Again, only the blessing, and we rebuke the evilness that can come with money, God. Rebuke all greed, God. Any envy and jealousy, God. May you truly be our main supplier and give us the wisdom, and we thank you for the blessings that you have ahead. Okay, people. I don't know how soon the updates will come. Maybe it'll be tomorrow. Someone will open that mail and go, oh my gosh, there's $100 unexpectedly in here. Or maybe it'll be in years to come, you know, futuristically in these uh, time capsule videos. But I look forward to future updates of how God blessed you through this video and financial breakthrough, release, and overflow to help others as well as being able to pay off your own debts. Take care. Oh, that was like a, a sweet, you know, I didn't know where I was going to go tonight. God bless.